they say bigger is better. Not sure who they are, but it seems since the dawn of civilization, people have dreamed big. And built big, too. From the Great Pyramid to the Great Wall, there's been no limit to humanity's architectural aspirations. Engineers of today are no different. So let's go around the world to see their most ambitious and bizarre projects. To start with, there's Dubai's floating underwater train. Engineers in the UAE have proposed a high-speed rail connecting the city of Dubai to Mumbai, India, crossing 1,200 miles underwater in only two hours. That's about the distance from New York to Kansas City, almost half of the continental US, and the flight takes two and a half hours. The high-speed train would travel through a submerged tube floating just below the surface. Instead of anchoring it on the seafloor, the tunnel will hang from a series of enormous buoys. Hey, like they always say, buoys will be buoys. Also from the city whose name seems to mean, hey, look at me, the Dubai Creek Tower has been under construction since 2016. Designed to resemble both a minaret and a lily blossom, once complete in 2021 if all goes according to plan, the tower will feature offices, restaurants, rotating viewing platforms, and beautiful sky gardens inspired by the hanging gardens of Babylon. The tower will serve as the centerpiece of a new community called Dubai Creek Harbor, which will house up to 470,000 people. Meanwhile, green energy is the future, but wind farms can take up a lot of space. Solution? Put them in the ocean, of course! Ocean Wind is a planned offshore wind farm located 15 miles off the coast of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Once completed in 2024, the massive farm of 850-foot turbines will generate over 1,000 megawatts of electricity, nearly twice as much as an average coal power plant, and enough to power over half a million homes. Resembling a giant corkscrew, the Chicago Spire would have been the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere dominating the Chicago skyline 2,000 feet above street level. Its shape was inspired by smoke rising from a campfire, and it offered a unique architectural challenge. The twisting walls would have made the building vulnerable to the high winds Chicago is known for. Funding dried up in 2008, with nothing but a large hole to show for all the planning. Designed by the same architect who brought us the Burj Khalifa, the world's current tallest building jutting half a mile into the sky. The Jeddah Tower was originally planned to double that. But the futuristic spire was scaled back due to practical concerns like wind and weight. It's supposed to be completed in 2020, and once that happens, it'll dethrone the Burj Khalifa and stand an impressive 3,280 feet. And reaching even taller is the Sky Mile Tower. The name says it all. So apparently there's nothing else for me to say. All right, if you insist. Twice the height of the Burj Khalifa, Sky Mile will rise from an artificial island in Tokyo Bay. The island will function as a seawall, protecting the city from rising ocean levels. The tower will also provide clean water from a desalinization plant in the lower levels. This thing has been called one of the most ambitious construction plans since the Pyramid of Khufu. Behold the UAE's proposed dynamic tower. Each floor is shaped like a giant fidget spinner and would be able to rotate independently. The building would also produce its own power, thanks to a combination of solar panels and wind turbines. Now, the Strait of Gibraltar is so narrow that Spain and Morocco are practically touching. Hello? It's not surprising that many engineers have dreamed of building a super bridge across it. Plenty of designs have been presented over the years, with the most eye-catching resembling a cross between the Golden Gate and Brooklyn bridges. This towering structure would span 8.7 miles from shore to shore. Just the space between each supporting tower would be twice as long as the Golden Gate Bridge. Freedom Ship has been a decades-old concept for a floating city capable of housing 80,000 people. At 4,500 feet long, the ship would be almost four times the length of the world's largest cruise ship, the Symphony of the Seas. Its 25 floors would tower over anything else on the ocean. This moving city would contain a nearly self-sufficient society, with hospitals, schools, and a runway for commercial aircraft. Hmm, think you could live on a ship like that? 
From the sea to the clouds, the Sky City 1000 offers a solution to Japan's equally sky-high housing prices. Resembling 14 bowls stacked on top of each other, it was the first seriously considered concept for a self-contained vertical city, a concept known as arcology. Designed to house more than 35,000 people, the 3,300-foot building would feature its own schools, theaters, and even outdoor parks in the gaps between each terrace. A similar project to deal with the lack of space in the overcrowded city, Tokyo's proposed Chimizu 2004 Mega City Pyramid is designed to house up to 1 million people. This enormous pyramid would be the largest building in history, covering a little over 3 square miles of what's now Tokyo Bay. That's two and a half times the size of Central Park. The 2004 in its name refers to a planned height of 2,004 meters or about 6,600 feet. Do you think these massive skyscrapers will be a normal thing of the future? Maybe we'll have flying cars, so you can park right next to your 400th floor apartment. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Now, let's look at some even more epic projects. The tallest construction project ever seriously considered, the Dubai City Tower, draws inspiration from the shape of the Eiffel Tower. It would triple the height of the Burj Khalifa and stand five times taller than the Empire State Building. Just imagine looking up at such a huge construction. The pointed shape would help offset the impact of wind and disperse the tower's weight over a wider area. Instead of an elevator, the proposed building comes equipped with a high-speed train to move people between floors. You know, I think it was Shakespeare who actually named this town, or Hamlet to be precise. You know, Dubai or not Dubai? That is the question. Really? Elantropa was an insanely ambitious plan to partially drain the Mediterranean Sea. The proposal called for massive hydroelectric dams to be built in several places, like the Dardanelles Channel and the Strait of Gibraltar. It would have lowered the sea level by up to 660 feet, the entire height of the Seattle Space Needle plus some. The plan also called for the Nile and Congo rivers to be redirected to irrigate the Sahara Desert. For obvious reasons, the idea didn't stick for long. And now, a project so unbelievable, it's impossible. It's a building hanging in the sky from an asteroid. Specifically, it's meant to hang suspended by cables from an asteroid that would first need to be towed into our planet's orbit. You could even parachute off the top floors and down to Earth. Don't get me wrong, as a science fiction concept, it gets an A+. But something tells me we won't be seeing many hanging skyscrapers anytime soon. Hmm. On second thought, never say never. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.